Welcome back to part two of the math fun here, my party people. Anderson here, your math coach. So we're following up from the previous video where we looked at order of operations with two steps. Now we're gonna be looking at two steps with negatives. So I'm gonna lead the way for you here for you. We're gonna go through these practice problems. I might go through maybe 10, 20, 25, just depends on the flow. We're gonna go through all these practice problems. And then remember, after this, move forward in the course, get into those worksheets, and then from there, get into the speed drills. Those speed drills, making sure that you're timed and know how to do this under pressure, that's gonna spell the ultimate success. So with that said, my math party people, let's get to work here. So we have negative two plus 10 times negative three. So remember my party people, we need to think about the order of operations as Pem does. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, but remember this, I wanna make sure that you understand this very clearly. When it comes to the order of operations, we have parentheses, we have exponents, but remember that multiplication and division are the same operation. It's whichever comes first. Then addition, subtraction, again, whichever comes first. So we have to remember that because if you see division, then multiplication, you need to do the division first. Let's see if we can find an example like that coming up here. But here we go. We have, again, multiplication happening first. So we have this right here first. So we'll have negative two plus whatever 10 times negative three is, and that's gonna be negative 30. So with that said, look over here. We have plus negative 30. What does that mean? Remember, if you're adding a negative, that's the same thing as subtracting, okay? Adding a negative is the same thing as subtracting. So we can rewrite this as negative two minus 30. And my party people, if you are already back two, then you go back 30, well, you went back 32, negative 32. And so if you're not used to handling negative numbers, I would really recommend you go to the guided practice videos where I go over how to handle negative numbers with addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Please go back there, do yourself that favor if this is making you uncomfortable. So let's go ahead and keep moving forward here. 52, let's get these practice problems in. We have 28 divided by two minus nine. So the first thing we need to do is tackle right over here the two minus nine because it's in a parentheses. So two minus nine is gonna be seven, but negative. Remember, nine minus two is seven. Two minus nine is negative seven because you're subtracting more than you have. The bigger number is the nine, so you keep the sign of the bigger number when you subtract. So here, we're gonna have ourselves 28 divided by negative seven. And so then from here, 28 divided by negative seven is what? Well, that'll be negative four because a positive divided by a negative will be negative and 28 divided by seven is four. Negative four and let's keep moving forward. We got this. So 53, we have three divided by three minus negative eight. So a couple things we need to really understand here. First of all, very briefly, three divided by three is what comes first because division and multiplication come before subtraction. So three divided by three is one. But then we have minus negative eight. Where does that come from? What is that? Well, when you're subtracting a negative, remember, when you're subtracting, that's the same as adding the opposite. So if you're subtracting a negative, that's the same thing as adding a positive. Minus negative is the same as addition. Remember that. It's like saying reverse, reverse. You're still facing forward and that'll be addition. One plus eight equals nine and we are good. Number 54. 10 plus five minus two. This one's pretty straightforward. We actually don't have to deal with negatives here because we'll just do 10 plus five, which is gonna be 15. Then we subtract the two and that's gonna be 13. So that one was pretty straightforward, pretty easy for us. Feel pretty good about that. Number 55, oh, look at that, a lot of negatives, uh-oh. So let's go ahead and take care of business here. We have ourselves first, we're gonna take care of multiplication. So we have negative five times negative two. Negative five times negative two. A negative times a negative gives me a positive. Five times two is 10. So now this turns into 10 minus four, and that equals six. Notice how I'm staying calm, cool, and collected. And also notice this, my party people. What am I constantly doing first? I'm constantly analyzing first, seeing what the first thing to be done is, and then moving forward from there. I want you to practice that because it's gonna give you a really good look, a really good opportunity to get this done the right way before you even start. Up next, 56. We have one minus negative four all squared. So we're gonna first take care of the group here. One minus negative four. 
So over here, one minus negative four becomes what? Well, remember that one minus a negative four minus a negative, that's the same thing as adding. So that's really the same thing as one plus four. And last bad part of people, just like this free video that you're watching, I have more free materials for you and there's no excuse for you not to get them. I have a free practice test that comes with video solutions so you can learn from every single mistake. And on top of that, I have a free class on Zoom once a week, every single week for two hours. So imagine that. You got more free materials than just this YouTube video right over here. Let's keep pushing forward. Sign up right now and I'll see you in the next class. Let's get started. And that'll end up being five. So we have five all squared. Remember five squared means five times five. That exponent tells you how many times you're multiplying that base. And so five times five is 25 and we are good. Oh yeah, let's keep it going. 57, we have eight plus five minus seven. Eight plus five, that's gonna give us 13. And then 13 minus seven, that's gonna be six. Right there. Didn't have to deal with a the negative there and that's okay. Number 58, negative eight times negative, or times positive two minus negative nine. So I can tell you two things right now. This is what we're gonna be doing first, but also when we take a look at the minus negative nine, that's gonna end up becoming a plus nine. Because remember, when you subtract a negative, that's the same thing as adding a positive. And so negative eight times two, that's gonna be negative 16. Because a negative times a positive is negative, eight times two is 16. And so over here, what is negative 16 plus nine? Well remember, when you have a negative and a positive being added, that's the same thing as subtracting the numbers, but you're just gonna keep the sign of the bigger number. Again, if you are unfamiliar with working with negatives and this is giving you anxiety or stressing you out, we have guided practice videos, lessons, worksheets, and speed drills specifically for negatives. So do yourself that favor and get in there so you can learn your negative operations, all right? So with that said, it's expected that you know this by now. You have all the resources you need in our course to get that done. And if you don't know uh, about the course or the program, then make sure to check the description of this video if you're on YouTube or something watching this video. But here we go. Negative 16 plus nine. Right over here, that's gonna end up being what? 16 minus nine is seven, but it's gonna be a negative seven because the 16 is the bigger number, the negative 16. So there it is, there's D. Number 59, negative two plus five times nine. So here what we'll do first is going to be right there, that multiplication. So we have negative two plus five times nine, which is 45. Remember that negative two plus 45, that's the same thing, same exact thing as saying 45 minus two. You can rearrange things. Remember that one plus two is the same as two plus one. So negative two plus 45 is the same thing as 45 plus negative two. 45 plus negative two is just saying 45 minus two. And 45 minus two is going to be 43 right there. Let's keep the party going. Number 60. We have negative seven times two times four. Sounds good. So what we can do here is say, hey, since we're multiplying all the way through, remember that you can give yourself an easier time by multiplying any order that you see that makes sense to you. So here's the example that I'll give you. If I say one times two times three, that's the same thing as three times two times one. It's the same thing because this is going to be six and that's going to be six. So knowing that you can go ahead and multiply, if you're just multiplying straight up, you can multiply in whatever order you want. Just like if you're adding a bunch of numbers, you can add in whatever order you want. That works when you're doing the same operation, either addition or multiplication, you can do it straight up whatever order you want. And so what I'm saying is, instead of seeing this as negative seven times two, negative 14 times four, you might be looking at 14 times four, like, uh, what's that gonna be? You might not realize that that's negative 56. But if you looked at it this way, my party people, look, if I did two times four first, that would be negative seven times eight. Negative seven times eight is negative 56. And you can realize that a lot faster about this problem. Let's keep it going. 61. We have eight minus seven times three. Eight minus seven, that's going to give me one. And one times three gives me three. Super straightforward there. Nice and easy. 62. We have 20 divided by negative 10 minus 10. Sounds good. So don't get tricked here because you might be tempted to say, oh yeah, negative 10 minus 10, that's negative 20. 20 divided by negative 20 is negative one. Nope, wrong, incorrect. We need to make sure we follow the order of operations because it's 20 divided by negative 10 up first 
and then we do the minus 10. So with that, 20 divided by negative 10, that's gonna be negative two. Because 20 divided by 10 is two, and a positive divided by a negative is negative. And so with that, negative two minus 10, if you're already negative two, and you take away 10 more, you're more negative. A negative minus a number is getting more negative, so that's negative 12. Let's keep it going, number 63. So we zoom in just a little more here. 8 minus negative 5 minus 2. So the first thing we'll take care of, since we're subtracting all the way, I'll go from left to right. But remember that 8 minus negative 5 is the same thing as saying 8 plus 5. Because again, minus a negative, same thing as addition. 8 plus 5, that's going to give us 13. 13 minus 2 is 11. A is the answer. Here we go. Let's keep it going. 64. 6 minus 8 minus 4. So since it's subtracting, we'll just go left to right. 6 minus 8 will be negative 2. 8 minus 2 is 6. 6 minus 8 is negative 2. Again, just think about it backwards. You're good. And then from there, we'll subtract the 4. Since we're already back 2, going back 4 more, we have a total of going back 6. Negative 6. Let's keep the party going, my party people. Here we go. 65. We have 6 multiplied by negative 6 minus negative 9. This one seems confusing, but it's still really, really straightforward. Take care of the parentheses first. And if you need to see it differently, remember that minus a negative means that what you'll have is addition. Subtracting a negative is the same as adding. And so let me go ahead and remove that there and put that there. And remember that negative six plus nine is the same as nine minus six. One plus two is the same as two plus one. Just make sure to bring the sign with you. And really quick, before we continue my math party people, I know you're enjoying this, and you can have thousands of problems just like this in our program. In our program, you have four main things to help you succeed and more. But mainly, in our course, you're gonna get access to recorded lessons, you're gonna get access to guided practice just like this, worksheets that you can print out and try or keep them online, and lastly, speed drills to raise your confidence. That way, when you take the test, there's no test anxiety, there's no pressure, because you've been timed before, you know what to do, and that's the feeling that we want. And all of that's included in our program and more, so take a brief moment, click the link here in this video or in the description to learn about the program, and then reach out to us if you have any questions. Sign up now, let's get going, and let's get back to the problem. And so with that, we have six times negative six plus nine, which is nine minus six, so that'll end up being three, positive three. And so six times three will give you 18, and B is the answer. Let's keep it going. Number 66 over here. We have five minus four minus five. I can look at this immediately and tell you that, hey, if we have five minus five, that's gonna cancel out, leaving you with negative four. I can tell you that immediately, but if we need to see it, I got you. Here we go, five minus four minus five. Here, five minus four, that's gonna be one. And one minus five, remember that's the same thing as five minus one, but just the negative version. Five minus one is four, but that'll be a negative four. And there we have that. 67, let's keep it going, my party people. Negative 15 times two, all of that divided by three. So we'll take care of the parentheses first. Negative 15 times two. So negative 15 times two, what's that gonna be? That's gonna end up being negative 30. Because a negative times a positive is negative, 15 times two is 30. We need to be able to do this quickly here. Again, if you haven't gone through the mental math and calculating portion of this course, make sure to do that. You gotta make sure you know how to handle your numbers, especially when it's live in real time and you're taking the test. So a negative divided by a positive, that's gonna be a positive, or a negative, excuse me. And then 30 divided by three, that's gonna be 10. So negative 10 is our answer. Keeping it going, number 68. Five minus negative three plus seven. So remember, subtracting a negative, that's the same thing as adding a positive. So we end up having five plus three, and then we have the plus seven right there. Five plus three, that's gonna give us eight. Eight plus seven, that's gonna give us 15. And that's C. Keeping it going, number 69. We have nine minus three times negative nine. So here, nine minus three, that's gonna be six. So we have six right over here. And then we're gonna be multiplying by that negative nine. A positive times a negative is a negative. Six times nine is 54. Booyah, negative 54. 
and we keep moving forward from there. Number 70. We have negative 4 divided by negative 2, all of that squared. Here we go. So first we're going to take care of the negative 4 divided by the negative 2. A negative divided by a negative is a positive, and 4 divided by 2 is 2. And remember that we're squaring all of that at the end. 2 squared means that you'll take 2 and multiply it by itself twice, which is 4 in that C. Keeping it going, my party people, number 71. Let's go ahead and shackle this here again. Keep pausing it so you can try it out and then press play so I can do it with you. So here we have 8 minus 2. That's going to end up being 6. Then we divide that by negative 6. Well, a positive divided by a negative will give you a negative. Po uh, 6 divided by 6 is 1. Negative 1 would be the answer. 72. Here we go. 72, we have 3 plus 10 all times 7. So we're going to take care of the parentheses first. 3 plus 10. 3 plus 10 is going to be 13. 13 times 7, what's that going to be? Using some mental math, what you're going to say is that you have 7 times 10, which is 70. 7 times 3 is 21. 70 plus 21 is 91. And you're done. Again, using that mental math is really, 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 really good for us. Let's go ahead and get to number 73. 73, we have 6 minus 4 all squared. Taking care of that parentheses, 6 minus 4 is equal to 2. And then we square that. And just like we saw last time, that's just going to be 2 times 2. And that is 4. Just like that. Number 74. Here we go, my party people. We got this. Number 74. We have negative 12 divided by 5 minus 2. So taking care of that group first, that 5 minus 2, that's going to end up being 3. And so we have negative 12 divided by 3, and that's going to give you negative 4. And that's D. Let's take a look at one more here, number 75, and we'll call it a day. Negative 12 divided by 3 plus 7. We'll do division first. A negative divided by a positive is a negative. 12 divided by 3 is 4. Then we'll go ahead and add 7 to this. And so negative 4 plus 7, remember that this is the same exact thing as saying 7 minus 4. It's the same thing. 7 minus 4, that's going to give you 3. And that's D. So my math party people, look, at the end of the day, what I really, 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 really want you to achieve is fluency here. You saw me work out 25 questions here that included negatives. And moving up next, we have these worksheets. And then we have the speed drills for you to work on. What I really hope that you're able to do and what you're willing to do is try to do these mentally. Again, without the use of a calculator, just going straight through and practicing all the way. And so with that seven math party people, go ahead, move forward to the worksheets and speed drills, and then I'll bring back everything that we have going on so far, adding on not just two steps with order of operations, but three steps. So I'm looking forward to seeing you there. You know I'm your math man, Duran. I'll see you there. Let's have fun and let's raise that score. My party people, as always, thanks for watching. Please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. That way you can see all the updates that we come out with so you can keep improving. So don't wait, subscribe now. And then while you wait for the next video, look here or there to see a related video that's gonna help you improve even more. Let's keep raising that score and let's get the job we want. I'll see you soon.